Hey, what's good, YouTube? Welcome back to another reaction. Today, we've got why Switzerland is the safest place if World War Three ever begins. I've always heard that Switzerland is, like, the best place to go to like, if a war breaks out and stuff. I'm not gonna lie, this world is fucked, so, uh, yeah, I might plan on moving to Switzerland after this video. We'll see. Let's get him up. This is a real-life lore video made possible by Hover. Get 10% off... Switzerland is a tiny landlocked country surrounded by France, Germany, Italy, and Austria. If you've ever looked at a map of the European Union, you'll notice an awkward blob in the middle which doesn't belong to it, and that blob is Switzerland. Switzerland is famously right. neutral, and in addition to not being a part of the EU, it's also not a member of NATO, and it didn't even join the United Nations until pretty recently in 2002. The thing is, though, even though, like, we're gonna go and, uh, like, this video is gonna say why it's the safest place, its position is not that safe. Like, it's literally in the middle, like, smack bang in the middle of, you know, four countries, at least four countries, that will be going to war if a world war breaks out. In fact, Switzerland is so neutral that it hasn't fought a single war in over 200 years. The what last the fuck? one being against Napoleon in 1815. All of this is despite the Bro, fact I saw that Napoleon Switzerland comes up is in the middle of Europe and surrounded by historically yeah. more aggressive countries. Yeah. So why is it that Switzerland has been such a stable and safe place for centuries? The answer lies in understanding the geography. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't know Switzerland was there. I thought Switzerland was like more like up north. Switzerland. The country can really be divided into three separate parts. In the south are the Swiss Alps, a gigantic mountain range that covers most of Switzerland's wow. territory and separates it from Italy and Austria. Wow, to the west that's and beautiful. The north are the Jura Mountains, a range much smaller than the Alps, but still large enough to separate the country from France. And finally, there is the Swiss Plateau, a basin dotted by rolling hills, rivers, and lakes that is home to most Man, of Switzerland's stunning. population. Holy it's shit. no accident that Switzerland's major cities are all located in this region instead of the other two. But it's not as easy of a defensible position either. Switzerland has long been a little paranoid about a foreign invasion, and it's not without good reason. In the First World War, Germany invaded neutral Belgium in order to attack France in a more vulnerable position. And in the Second World War, Switzerland found herself in 1940 to be completely surrounded by Axis-occupied <laughs> territory and faced an imminent threat of invasion yep. from Nazi Germany. The invasion never happened, but fears persisted into the Cold War of a potential Soviet invasion, and that attitude has never fully gone away. Switzerland's plan for dealing with a potential invasion from anybody was called the National Redoubt, and it was essentially intended to make any possible enemy look at the map, look at Switzerland, and think to themselves, no thanks, I'll take over something a little easier instead. <laughs> the first reason why is Switzerland could- Basically, it's just surrounded by massive mountains, Ed. But the thing is, right, if World War Three ever breaks out, it's going to be nuclear bombs, right? So, if Germany's hit and France is hit with nuclear bombs, surely it will have an impact on Switzerland as well. ...continues to have mandatory male conscription, meaning that all men have to serve in the military for 170 days and receive basic training. They enter into what? the reserves afterwards and keep their rifles at their home, and although many get exemptions, Switzerland has the ability to mobilize over 200,000 soldiers within 72 hours of an emergency Holy shit, being that's declared. pretty cool. In addition, every road, bridge, tunnel, and railroad in the country has been designed in a way Way that they can be remotely blown up to deny a possible invader from ever using them. What there the are fuck? over 3,000 of these points that can be blown up inside of the country, including entire mountainsides that can be detonated to cause a landslide to block off entire roads. What? In addition to all of this, the modern Swiss military strategy has always been to abandon the plateau and the city centers and retreat almost the entire military into the Alpine region. Here, high in the mountains, the Swiss have built over 26,000 bunkers and fortified positions wow. ranging from anti-tank guns, anti-air guns, wow. and machine gun nets. Hey, listen, 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 listen. Switzerland ain't, like, they just want peace, right? They ain't gonna go to war with anyone, but if you fucking dare go to war with Switzerland, you're getting fucked up! They are camouflaged like this anti-tank gun that oh looks my like a God. Rock, or this barn that's actually a machine gun nest on the left, and an anti-tank gun on the right. What the and fuck? both of these are connected by a tunnel underground. There are camouflage positions like these all over the Alpine region of Switzerland, which means that the entire country is basically one big booby trap, an impregnable castle in the center of Europe. 
this is why Switzerland has been able to remain neutral throughout some of the most difficult times in European No history, one's gonna want to go through that. many now question the importance of this defensive and neutral mindset. Germany, Austria, Italy, and France are today all European Union member states and have no militaristic intentions on conquering Switzerland. The National Redoubt has seen many of its fortresses and bunkers turned into museums in the last few years, and Switzerland is planning on downsizing its military from around 200,000 to only 80,000 by the year 2020. Do you know what? That makes sense, though. I, I feel like most military, apart from, like, the biggest country, because they go to war over, like, oil and shit and, you know, stuff like that. But, like, mo most military countries that are, like, small that were only getting a war because of, like, fucking, you know, World War Three. If World War Three happens, you don't need soldiers. It's just gonna be nuclear bombs, bro. Like it's not, it's not even funny. Like it, it's actually scary if World War Three fucking happens. But yeah. But nonetheless, it makes sense that they would downsize that, that military. Will always be is the safest place in the world to possibly be at in the event of a global nuclear war. See, this is why I thought it wouldn't be because it's surrounded by so many big countries. But I suppose like the mountains will this help, is because right? Switzerland is the only country in the world to have enough nuclear fallout shelters to house their entire oh, population. In shit. fact, Switzerland has enough fallout shelters to house 114% of their population. Meaning hey, that's an extra 14% for me. I'm, I'm going. Hey, listen, I'm, I'm going to have a look at the rent in fucking Switzerland. Look, I, I, I'm a Twitch streamer. I can move wherever the fuck I want to go, right? I'm going to Switzerland. But even I'm in the event there. of a large refugee influx, the country would still have enough shelters to fit everybody inside of them. Wow. All residential buildings that's really inside sick. the country built after 1978 are mandated by law to contain a nuclear shelter capable of surviving a 12 megaton blast from a distance of 700 meters away. What As of 2006, fuck? there are over 8.6 million fallout shelters located throughout the country, ranging in sizes like this in a normal house, what? up to gigantic public shelters built inside of tunnels that can house over 2,000 people for over four months. In the event of a nuclear attack on Switzerland, it is possible that the entire population of the country could retreat to their bunkers and continue fighting off any invader after the bombs have exploded. That's, bro, it's, what the fuck is Switzerland, man? I, listen, watch it, like, hearing all the stuff about Switzerland, like, you know, it'll be the safest place. You thought they would just be, like, nice and kind and polite and soft and up, I, I thought it was up north, my geography is really bad. You know what I mean? Like, they just stay out their way. Motherfucker, this is a defense fucking bomb, like, beast, bro. They got bunkers, they got camouflage fucking things in the Alps and the mountains. Like, bro, this is insane. Not even nuclear weapons. I never said to this. The fortress of Switzerland. And it has been said before that in the event of a global nuclear war, the only survivors would be the heads of state of a few countries, cockroaches, and 8.4 million Swiss citizens. <laughs> if a nuclear war ever does happen, the then fuck? the Swiss have enough bunkers for not only them, but a few friends to survive it all through with. So remember this when it may become important later. Oh my god. Is likely the safest place you could possibly be during the event of a nuclear war or World War 3. Before you start making plans to visit though, it would be nice to let other people know about what you just learned. Nope. Also nope. Nope. Listen. Look, they have 140%. If I let people know, then there might not be, you know, that 40% might not, might not be for me. I'm I'm getting my visa to Switzerland. I'm going to move there. It looks absolutely fucking stunning and beautiful. Hopefully, the internet's amazing. I know they got big mountains that, uh, you know, fuck up the internet or something. So, uh, hopefully, the internet's amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, go I'm going to Switzerland. But really, really good video. Really enjoyed that one. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it too. If you did, make sure you drop a like. Make sure you subscribe. We're getting super close to a thousand subs. So if you guys can help out with the channel, I really appreciate it if you guys can subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.